A 10 News Morning Original. New reporting, first at 6. Police are cracking down on a new crime wave across California. Thieves slipping cameras onto ATMs to record your credit card information. 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens is in the live center. Jared, investigators, they just made a big arrest. Yeah, cameras to see your pin when you punch it in. And four people were arrested just last week, but investigators say they may not be the only ones doing this. Experts tell us there are ways to keep your money safe. Jim Tucker remembers the first time someone stole his credit card information. They must have sold my number to somebody because somebody bought a pack of cigarettes in New York City and, and then bought lumber up in L.A., flowers at Anaheim before they caught it. It's happened to him twice and made him extra careful whenever he uses his card. I always try to cover the numbers and then, you know, I'm always cautious, you know. Me. Now police say thieves have a new tool releasing this footage of someone putting in a card skimmer and a camera on an ATM to steal your pin. Whenever we come up with a way of figuring out how to thwart it, then the crooks can figure out how to zig past that zag. SDSU Fowler College of Business lecturer Stephen Andres says ATMs in stores or standing on their own are the most susceptible. And while covering your pin is always a good idea, he says it's better to avoid using a debit card altogether. Credit card has more protections built in because if somebody does a fraudulent transaction, you're working with the bank's money and not your own money. He also suggests using apps like Apple Pay whenever possible as they create unique tokens for each transaction. They don't actually send your real credit card number to the vendor that you're working with. So instead, a random number gets sent that's only valid for that transaction at that vendor on that minute of the day. So in the future, if that vendor has their computer systems hacked, that number is completely worthless. Uh, Andres says you need to be especially careful at drive-up ATMs where it's harder to reach out with both hands and try and cover your pin. In the Life Center, Jared Aarons, 10 News.